Good evening, everybody. Mike Bakke, PrincetonTrader.com, here with your Sunday evening webcast. Okay, so if you didn't watch the Week in Review webcast, take a look at that. That kind of leads into this. Uh, we talked about how this is a weekly chart. These 50, 100, 200 day weekly moving averages were rejected. That gave the Bears the advantage coming into this week. They gapped it down a little bit. They pushed it uh, as low as uh, 27.71. So you go over to the daily chart and you can see we've been consolidating now for a few weeks, which is why the tape has been a little bit more frustrating versus the super hyper volatility that we've seen, you know, back in, in uh, tail end of February all the way through March and the beginning of part of, uh, of April. When it flattens out like this, it, you know, it's a much more difficult tape to trade. It's, a, you know, it, it's basically you get expansion in the tape and then you get compression. Um, now what you're seeing here is the potential uh, for a breakdown out of this expansion. So we talked in the Friday video, the end of the week video, about how if the bear's advantage on the weekly chart was going to play out, that they would challenge the green line here, the 20-day simple moving average or the daily mid-band. They've challenged it, and they're currently trading below it. Now, it gave them a really nice hop up to work with from being like 2785 during the Friday session now it's 2799 um, 2800 so I will be interested to see when I wake up in the morning what side of this green line are we on so it gapped down it ran down a little bit we haven't put any setups out tonight um, uh, we're just kind of letting it work I'll show you the five minute chart in a minute hourly chart you can see, I mean, there's your 29.65, and it's been pretty orderly. Down, little gap there, shelved it, push, shelf, push, shelf, gap. Stairs down, stairs down, stairs down. Um, you see the 20 day there, 27.99. Your new weekly pivot is up at 28.64.58. So over the course of the week, we'll have to see if that's an area that wants to be challenged. Um, so the five minute chart is here. So the here's your gap down, the yellow line volume weighted average price, your VWAP, and you can see that it's been challenged here and you know, lightly challenged here through the night. So uh, proprietary moving average a little bit higher there, 2786, and you can see that volume weighted average price is trying to hold it in as long as that's true then the bulls are gonna or the bears rather are gonna have a pretty good night if the bulls can get over the top and they can convert this moving average as well as as, as vwap then that opens up a retest of the daily mid band from underneath at 2799 2800 so like i said when i wake up in the morning i want to see what side of What side of this, the 20 day, are we trading? Above or below? And if they head up overnight and fill the gap, it's gotta be a gap fill with a rejection. Otherwise, it's gonna embolden the bulls to at least go back to the hourly mid band at 24, 25. And the hourly mid band since the break, back on Thursday, has held really nicely. All right, so just wanted to pop on real fast, tell you what I'm seeing. Uh, I will be back in the morning with the market webcast. Be safe, be healthy, take care, trade them well, and I'll talk to you soon. Follow us over on Twitter, Instagram, and Snapchat, at Princeton Trader. Check us out on Facebook, and join us for a free trial at www.princetontrader.com. Trade them well.